Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Today, we're going to talk about something that's so important. We got a whole course dedicated to it. We're talking about what needs to happen in the first 30 seconds of a client viewing your demo reel. A lot needs to take place. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of how important this first 30 seconds is. But first, you know what we got to do. We got to roll graphics. What's really good, what's really good. If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer and the owner of Flash Film Media, one of Texas's, can I say that? Can Texas's, you can say that. Texas's most trusted video production companies. This channel, by the way, is for those who want to turn their passion into profit. If you're here trying to make your girlfriend pictures look better via Photoshop and you're trying to make stuff jiggle in After Effects, this ain't the place. But if you want to learn how to get that bag, this is what this channel is about. Today, we're going to talk about your demo reel. I preach about that a lot because a lot of people don't know how to create a demo reel until they come to this channel. And what I'm going to go over today is something that's in this course all day and night. A lot of people wonder what's in courses. I'm going to talk about a little bit of it. Not everything, but a little bit of it. Because it's real important that you guys, one, understand what the purpose of your portfolio or demo reel is and how it helps you. If somebody pull up your demo reel and it is just a, a track of music and dope shots, something ain't right. You're not winning. You're losing that. Why, Ty? Why can't my demo, everybody else's demo reel around me is their best shots and then it's music? Why? Because it does not express to a client why you are the problem solver they need. It just shows the client that you have nice clips. It doesn't even show the client what you did on those clips, how you contributed to those clips. Are you responsible for the lighting, the camera movement, the editing, the, the makeup? It does not explain those things to your client. If your demo reel is not expressing what you have to offer to a client, it is useless. Your demo reel needs to express the problem that you solve using a cinematic solution in the first 30 seconds it needs to do that. If it does not do that, you got a problem. Your demo reel is not helping you because I guarantee you, if you sit your demo reel with just tracks and music, with my demo reel, go check it out. It's at flashfilmmedia.com and you sit them side by side, you won't stand a chance. My demo reel instantly grabs my target audience. And a lot of times in module one, I talk about target audience. Everything you do in business should be for your target audience. If you're trying to think about logos, you're trying to think about color schemes, you're trying to think about what camera, what lens, what your shirt should be, what should be on your website, none of that matters. If you don't understand who your target audience is, you will continue to lose. When it comes to your business, your target audience is the one you're in a relationship with. That's why I preach beta clients like crazy, like nobody's business. Because if you're doing all of these things based off what you think you like, you are failing. You will continue to fail. You will not have success. As a content creator, we're not video guys. We're not camera guys anymore. We're problem solvers. So make sure that your brand is set up to solve problems. Now, and what and where depends on your target audience. Make sure you go after your target audience. And I think that when you have a demo reel, when you are creating a commercial for yourself that is designed to make people want to pick up the phone and call you, it's designed to make people want to move forward with you, it's designed to make people feel okay with the fact that this may be expensive. If your demo reel does not display that, it's useless. And to do that, you have to know what your target audience value. Some people value X over Z. Some people who shop at Walmart value cheaper prices over maybe a better looking facility at Target. People who buy a TV from Walmart, they value a lower price TV and then maybe meeting the expert at Best Buy that can explain why this TV is better and paying a little bit more. Somebody who buy a $300 70 inch from, from Walmart is just happy to have a 70 inch. 
They're just going to plug it up on a TV stand and connect their PlayStation to it. And that's that. Those are two different clients. They're both shopping for the same thing, but their mindset is different. A lot of times what they value is the knowledge about that product so that they know they're making the right decision. When you go to Best Buy, you'll spend an extra $70 on gold-plated HDMI cables because they can explain why that is important. You're not going to get service at Walmart outside of, let me get that TV right there. Cool. Let me put it on the cart here. Roll it to the front. Peace. Enjoy. Good luck. That's what you're going to get at Walmart. So think about just something as simple as that. When you are building your company, which one of those two are you trying to target? Somebody who just want a quick $300 video or somebody who want a $3,000 video? Which client do you want? Because as soon as that $300 TV skip, just blink one time, they bringing it back. Meanwhile, the guy who spent $3,000, if he got an issue, he's just waiting on Geek Squad to come show up and fix it. So what client do you want to attract? To make that determination, you have to understand who the target audience is and what they value. If you have not done that, it's going to be difficult for you to be successful. There's no way around that. It's business one-on-one. -on -one. Stop thinking like a consumer and just thinking, I got a great idea. Everybody should want it. Tell your friends, word of mouth, blah, blah, blah. It didn't work like that. You have to build something Know what you have and then research who benefits the most from that product or service. Then you have to look at that audience to determine what's the best part of that audience. Because now you got to figure out how to get clients and who your client is. That's why I can't just tell you to, what, this is what you do to go get clients. Because you don't understand what you offer and who benefits from it. If you knew that, you would know where your clients are. Your demo reel, once you have that information, should be designed in a way where it punches them in the throat within the first 30 seconds. If it don't, you have a problem. It's probably not going to work. It's probably not going to be effective. That's why I preach beta client. The demo reel is important, right? But to know who it affects, you got to know who you're targeting, who you're going after. You have to make sure you are aware of that before you move forward in the idea of having a business. Anything before that step is irrelevant. With that being said, I'm going to ask that you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to join Gold Membership, go to gold.flashhomeacademy.com. Join the community. If you want to join the free part of the community and you want to chop it up over there, do that. Be a part of the community. I'm sure you got some information that can help people. I'm sure there's some information there that can help you. So sign up and let's have some fun. All right, y'all. Be safe and I will see y'all in the next video. Hey, keep in mind that the video you just watched contains clips from a longer lecture that's available to our gold members at flashfromacademy.com. You can go to flashfromacademy.com to watch the complete lectures. If you wanna get all the gems and all the information, or you can stay on the channel and continue watching some of our content here. Just click one of those boxes somewhere around here. Just, yeah, you know where to go. Right up in here, somewhere, wherever it pops up, you, you know what to do. You got this.